The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Trial of the Church. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Revelation 12, verse 12. Those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus will feel the ire of the dragon and his hosts. Satan numbers the world as his subjects. He has gained control of the apostate churches, but here is a little company that are resisting his supremacy. If he could blot them from the earth, his triumph would be complete. As he influenced the heathen nations to destroy Israel, so in the near future he will stir up the wicked powers of earth to destroy the people of God. Their only hope is in the mercy of God. Their only defense will be prayer. The trying experiences that came to God's people in the days of Esther were not peculiar to that age alone. The revelator, looking down the ages to the close of time, has declared, The dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Some who today are living on the earth will see these words fulfilled. The wrath of Satan increases as his time grows short, and his work of deceit and destruction will reach its culmination in the time of trouble. Fearful insights of a supernatural character will soon be revealed in the heavens, and token of the power of miracle-working demons. The spears of devils will go forth to the kings of the earth and to the whole world to fasten them in deception and urge them on to unite with Satan in his last struggle against the government of heaven. By these agencies, rulers and subjects will be alike deceived. Those who are seeking for truth, that they may obey it in the love of it, are the ones who excites his, Satan's malice, and stir his ire. He can never weaken them while they keep close to Jesus.